Hey Clerk Chat team, this is Will, Clerk Chat's AI specialist. Today I'm excited to announce a new Q&A template for our AI flow section. The Q&A template enables you to automate Q&A interactions over SMS. What exactly constitutes a Q&A interaction? Well, it's made up of an incoming customer query. AI then understands that query, searches the knowledge base for an answer, generates a response and sends this back to the customer. This enables your existing support teams and can save hours per week across your team. Let's first dive into the template, take a look at how it works, and then I'll show you how you can set this up in your work. So here's the template. For any of these nodes, I can double click on one of them to see a bit more information about the node. So I can see the type of node it is. I can see the name of this node, which is what appears here. I can see what triggers this node, whether it's a user message or a private node. I can then see what sort of response it generates and I can see the prompt which is what prompts the AI bot and finally I can see any extract variables that the AI outputs. Now breaking down the flow it starts with a multi-question detection. At the moment this template is built to answer single questions and answers not follow-up questions. This feature will be coming very soon. So the first bot determines if the answer is a single answer question. If it is then the AI flow activates we go on to the next one but if the multi-question detection detects that this is a multi-part question i.e a follow-up question based on a prior answer the rest of the ai flow is not activated and therefore no message is sent back to the user this is great as you'll interact with the user as normal your existing messaging will remain exactly the same moving on to the next bot we have the query analysis where we analyze what the user query actually is if the user query is unclear, we then go to the query clarification bot, which asks the user to clarify their question. If the AI understands what the query is, we then move this way to the knowledge base search node. Here, this searches the knowledge base for an answer to the user query. I'll show you later in the video how you can upload your own data to the knowledge base. Once the knowledge base has been searched and the relevant, in and the relevant information has been retrieved, we then move to the response generation bot. This looks at both the user query and the knowledge required to answer it, generates a response and sends this back to the user. So with this complete flow, a simple user question has been answered without taking the time of your support team. And this save time quickly adds up. Now let's dive into how you can set this up on your workspace. The first thing to do would be to head to the link in the description below. That will take you to this link here. You can also see steps here on how you can set up the Q&A template. Scroll down until you see this code block here. And in the top right corner, you'll see the copy button. Click that and that will copy this whole block of code. Now head back to your workspace, head to the flow section here and click add flow. This is the workshop where you can create your AI flows. In the top right, click open JSON. And what you need to do is select all of this. So I can drag and select all of that or click control A, command A if you're on a Mac. I want to hit back and delete this. And now I'm gonna hit Control V or Command V on Mac to paste all of that code that we copied from the web page earlier. Go ahead and hit save. And you'll see that the AI flow pops up here. And finally click save again in the top right and you'll get this green confirmation box, great. Now head back to flows by clicking here. And all you need to do is assign this to an inbox. So I'm going to assign it to my personal inbox. Great. The final step is to head to settings and head to the knowledge base. This is where you're going to upload your knowledge base documents. Simply click the attach icon and select a file. I'm here selecting a CSV of 100 FAQs for clerk chat. So a simple CSV that in one column has questions and in the other column has the answers. I'm going to select that and click save. Now if I click here, you'll be able to see these support questions. That's all you need to do in the knowledge base section. Don't worry about any of this below. Now head back to your inbox and we can test this AI out. Great, so you can see somebody has messaged in a customer and instead of having to write a response, the AI has generated one and sent one back in the same minute within 10 seconds, giving an accurate answer to their question. This is great. This now means that simple questions that my support team would usually be answering are now answered by the AI, freeing up the support team to spend time on tasks that are more important. This is how you can set up a simple Q&A AI flow 
on your workspace. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to the team. Thanks for watching.